stampers Kelly Atchison at a stamp above.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin today I've got something a little different for my wait what tip video I decided to share a classic card layout and I get a lot of questions from you and I love questions so feel free to ask questions I get a lot of questions from you guys asking where do you come up with your ideas how do you come up with your ideas you're so creative and quite frankly I don't really consider myself that creative but I do a lot of swapping and I'm on the internet a lot looking for card ideas that I can you know take and make my own so I'm a really good copier or case that's copy and share everything that's what that stands for I'm a really good copier but I just change things up a little bit I go through the internet and I look for color combinations that I really like and then I'll make a card with that or I look up a stamp set or um, I look up designer series paper or I look up a set of thinlets and see what other people have made and then I kind of go from there it's not that often that I actually create something all on my own so get that theory out of your head that you always have to create your own cards especially as a beginner um, beginning stampers should be casing things and the more you make and the more you copy cards the better you're gonna get at the layout and the color combinations um, because when you're online and you see something that you really like you're like wow that's really pretty just make it you don't have to always make it your own but I wanted to take a classic card layout and show you some variations of it so here is a card this is just a card front it's a swap card that I received from Linda Madison and um, my mom was going through a box of cards and I always let my mom pick out cards to take home that she needs but she was going through a pack of cards and she said oh this one's just a card front and I said let me see that and I looked at it and I'm like oh my gosh I love that layout this is a classic layout and you can do a lot of different things with it so I took Linda's classic layout and I'm going to show you how to do this and the card that I made. Let's just set that right there. I took the Pick a Pattern Designer Series paper and I've been using this a lot so I thought I'd just let you see all the different patterns in here. Cute dinosaurs. I love the black patterns too. Just a great designer series paper pack that I've been using a lot. So I took the pick a pattern designer series paper and I cut this floral design at four and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then I took my ruler and I measured down about two and three quarters of an inch and I put a little mark right here. I lined this up in my paper cutter on my mark and on that tip and I cut this piece off right here. I'm just going to set that aside because we don't need that right now. Then I took one of the pick a pattern um, designs and I love this one. Let me show you that one again because it looks like a film strip to me and I just think it's a pretty cool this one. I just took it and I cut one slice off of there but normally this would be a quarter of an inch long by you need about five inches so this is basically the layout I went and grabbed my framelits to see what I could come up with and I found the bold butterfly framelits and that's where this one is coming from and I cut out a crushed curry and a basic black butterfly and that's the color in here is crushed curry emerald envy flirty flamingo black and white so I just kind of wanted to go with that color theme. The designer series paper is always a good one to help you pick your colors, right? I took a piece of black that is just an eighth of an inch bigger than this. This is just five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And I've also got this white piece, which is five by three and three quarters. So I'm going to take my designer series, whoops paper oh my glue is getting crazy here hang on a second we can't have that it'll make lumps on my card I don't like that too much glue I was squeezing it really hard because it's got kind of it's clogged a little bit 
Yeah, let's see if I can get some glue all over my fingers. Just in time for my video, right? You guys see paint? I've got paint all over. I apologize. I have been scraping it off. I spent 19 hours repainting my living room. Would you like to see a picture of it? I think I will post it for you on um, my blog. So go check that out at www.astampabove.com. Anyways, back to our project. We've got our glue on here. Now you're going to line this piece up with the top, just like that. Perfect. And next, I'm going to take a stamp. And I just chose a, a stamp, a thank you stamp. And this is from the One Big Meaning. It just says a little thanks. And I wanted just a tiny little greeting, greeting here. So we're going to stamp a little thanks down here in the bottom corner. You should probably stamp that first before you glue your paper on. I always tell you that. But do that first because if you mess it up, you can turn it over and try again. I'm good at messing up. That's for sure. And now I'm just going to come in here with this little strip. And you can either layer it over the bottom edge of this diagonal piece of designer paper. Or you can put it right underneath. Depends on where you want it to end up. And I'm just going to trim that off. My piece was a lot bigger than five inches, you guys, because I had like this piece and I just cut a sliver off of it. So it needs to be a minimum of five inches. Isn't that pretty? It's just pretty. And then we're going to mount this on our crushed curry and black layer. And I just left a very thin margin for the black layer. It just gives it that pop. And that's another thing you can do as a stamper is just put that pop behind your... Um, layers. And now I chose to layer my butterfly because I just thought it stood out better than just one color or the other. I didn't want just a black butterfly because I don't know that's kind of weird and I didn't want just a yellow butterfly so this one's going to stand out really good. Where'd my dimensionals go? Hmm. Yeah. Hello, dimensionals. Have you seen the new mini dimensionals? You get something like 700 in a pack of these, and I don't know, they're like $4 from Stampin' Up. Of course, everything I use is from Stampin' Up, but yeah, mini dimensionals. So you don't have to cut them for these small things. Isn't that cool? And now I'm just going to add this butterfly right to the front of my card, just like that. And there you have your classic layout. You could add some rhinestones to this butterfly if you wanted to, but I think this is just a really fast and easy card, and I love the layout. So let's bring Linda's card back in here. The same layout, just different designer series paper, a different image here, and a different greeting. And I've also changed it up a little bit by adding a layer behind the designer series paper. Here is another one that I made. And again, I use the same A Little Thanks from One Big Meaning. This is the Daisy Delight Designer Series paper. Beautiful, beautiful paper. We've got all these floral images. This is where I got my little quarter inch strip. Super cute patterns. We've got an ombre look here. That's really pretty. Some big yellow daisies floral and neutral sheet. This is really pretty paper. And this is the Daisy Punch. So there's a stamp set and um, matching punch that you can get with the Daisy Suite. I used So Saffron here and I used Blushing Bride ink which seems odd because you would think you would need peach but the peach was just a little bit too much. And here's another one. This uses the Sunshine Wishes thinlets, the word hope, and this floral image. And I really struggled with what color to make this. I tried a green, I tried berry burst, I tried peekaboo peach. You know, I just held the cardstock up there. Don't get me wrong, I didn't die cut all of them. None of them really worked. So I chose white and I thought, boom, that's the pop. This is the beautiful ombre paper.
that comes in the Naturally Eclectic Designer Series Paper Pack. We've got some really nice images here. This little strip is a strip of this. I just cut it this way, so that's where I'm getting that little accent. Here's um, navy blue ombre, berry burst. Here's the green that I used. It's emerald envy. Beautiful, beautiful cardstock pack also. And then for this, I really struggled with which, which color should I make my word hope. So first I thought I'd try peekaboo peach. And I put that on there because there's peach in here in this little strip. And it's like, nope, that's just too much. That's not working for me. So then you can see the struggle is real. Then I came in with a soft sky. And that just didn't, I mean, it matches this right here, but it just didn't work for me either. So I'm like, where am I, what color am I going to do my word hope in? That's when I decided to use that little corner that I cut off and use the exact same designer series paper in the ombre pattern. And that's where I got my word hope from. So I play around with a lot of stuff before I finally come up with my final card for you guys. This is um, Night of Navy layer underneath. And again, just like the black layer here, it really makes that card pop. So there's all three of my cards using the same classic layout. I hope I've taught you something about a layout. When you look at a card, I looked at this card and I said, I really like that layout. I'm going to try that. And then I incorporated it with some new products. And that really helps my creative juices to start flowing so that I can, you know, create some more cool stuff. I hope you enjoyed your 4th of July weekend. I know I did. If you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. You can also head on over to my blog and order any supplies you might need. I will have the um, link to my Facebook page on my blog post on July 5th. So you can enter my challenge to make a card using this classic layout. And I will be doing a drawing for the Naturally Eclectic Designer Series paper, a sample of these papers, on Friday, which is my birthday. Happy birthday to me! Woohoo! So, add a little sparkle to someone's day. Send them a card.